this car we try to give him like a little bit of resistance to the other guy. So, but even if we can go close towards him, he's gonna stood up, he's gonna look at you, and he's gonna he's gonna move on. When he stopped, he moved. When he moved, he stopped. Look at that. Uh, look at that at the tip of the tail. Can you see that, Debbie? Mm -hmm. white. The tip of the tail mm -hmm. is white. Mm -hmm. Also, that's what I was telling you on the impalas, inyalas. White tail. Follow me. If not, mm -hmm. when he walks or she walks, if he's a female. She walks through the grass, then the babies are following behind. Then she's picking up the tail, showing that white. She's warning the babies, come, I'm, I'm walking this direction, follow me behind. Then they follow him, they follow her. And also the tail is a signal for danger. If the lion is angry at you, he's coming towards you. The tail, he or she will pick the tail up down like this. That means she or he is angry, he's coming to charge you. But if if the tail is doing like this, side to side, side to side, that means this is a sign of excitement. He's happy. Like your dog, if you've got dog at home, if you're arriving at home, then your dog is, is coming to greet you. You will see the tail like this. Mm. Then you'll be happy. He's a happy dog. Yeah. Exactly with these cats, they do the same thing. If the tail side to side, happiness. But if they tell up, down, up, upside down, up, down, up, down, he's hungry, he's not happy. <laughs> those markings, those uh, um, black markings there, uh, Debbie, mm -hmm. on the face, mm -hmm. those black markings, the cheetahs, they hunt during the day, okay? That marking, which one, we call it a tear mark, for, for his luck is crying. Because it's coming from the inner corner of the of the eyes all the way to the outer corner of the mouth. So that helps them when they hunt during the sunlight to reduce the amount of sunlight glare on their eyes. Mm -hmm. Then they can spot the prey very mm -hmm. easy from there. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like dozing, it's a sleeping ball. a week they eat they don't eat always maybe if he hunts he caught something today which is wednesday maybe he will stay today tomorrow thursday friday saturday sunday he or she will start hunting from there in palace but this one is a very aggressive cheetah he even go for kudu go for inyala take them down do they eat? That one, if he caught impala, he eat impala for maybe one day, the whole impala, <laughs> right in their stomach. They first eat the flesh, and then they will leave the intestines. They, they don't eat for the intestines. If they're not full, they will finish eating the intestines for, mm. for the animal. But they'll go for flesh first. They eat everything, even the skin, which I swallow everything. Right, that's good. And how many cheetahs do you have?